Okay, today I want to uh, show you guys how to field strip a Glock. I'm sure uh, most of you know how to do this, but in case there's anyone out there that doesn't, um, first step will be to check and make sure the gun is unloaded. You can see there is no ammo, no magazine. Um, that's the first step. Uh, the next step will be to actually pull the trigger and hopefully your gun did not just go bang when you did that. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, next step is to take your hand, and this is kind of a weird thing, but this is how I do it. Take your thumb, put the webbing of it next to the there, pull it back slightly, and pull both of these levers down at the same time with your other hand. Pull them down simultaneously, and that will free the slide to go like that. It'll slide right off the front. And um, that exposes the uh, inside of the frame. Just go ahead and lift the back of your uh, uh, recoil spring off of there. Uh, the barrel will slide out just like that. And basically, that's, that's as far as you need to field strip a Glock usually. Um, <clears throat> also, um, I didn't know this until kind of recently, but all of this gold stuff in here is actually um, a proprietary lubricant um, that Glock uses and it's really high quality stuff uh, back back before I knew that I always try to get that stuff out I didn't know what the hell it was but um, now I kinda wish I hadn't but anyway uh, if, if you've got that gold stuff in your gun leave it in there that's good stuff um, so yeah, that's basically how you field strip a Glock. There's nothing really else to it. Um, lubrication points, while we have it um, open like this, you'll you'll lubricate these little these little uh, metal. These are um, I'm not sure what they call them, but basically they slide in the grooves um, guide rails maybe. Uh, they slide in the grooves on your receiver, and you'll want to oil these rails, both those rails and these little guys right here and basically any uh, any other contact points you see uh, generally it's probably good to put a little on the barrel um, you can tell this one hasn't been shot very much because it doesn't have the little markings on there um, uh, right right through there is a good place uh, make sure your uh, feed ramps are clean um, you're also one of the one of the best ways to get a malfunction out of a Glock is to let let this the uh, breech face stay dirty. So make, you want to make sure that that gets cleaned out. Um, another point is when you're cleaning, don't you don't have to over lube a Glock. Um, they don't they don't require a terribly large amount of lubrication. Um, my uh, firearms instructors in BLET said that, um, who are all certified Glock armorers, by the way, they said that <clears throat> the Glock uh, design handguns benefit from a little bit of friction. You know, not not too much, but um, you you don't want to get them too too slimy. So, um, how you put this back together is you take the barrel, slide it back in it'll seat like that. Um, put the recoil spring front first and make sure it sits into the little curved I don't know if you can see that but the little curved um, recess there. Make sure it sits in there. Uh, start your those little rails right through those and then cock it. Rack the slide. Um, do that to it a couple times, pull the trigger, cock it again, Hold, holding, holding pressure on the trigger, don't let it come back forward, and then once you get it racked, slowly let it forward to test for trigger reset, and you heard that little click just then, pull it back, it functions, and that, that, is, that is your function check for your, for your Glock. It should, the reset is a very audible click. You should be able to hear it every time. Um, 
and that's pretty much it. That's the full, um, that's the full takedown and lubrication and reassembly of a Glock 2317. Basically, all of them. They're all designed the same. So anyway, catch you guys later.